As we think about building training vehicles for both the uh, PSM, the technological kinds of things, and the more abstract uh, elements of cultural and how those interface with each other and interact uh, on each other. Do you have any tips about how we might approach that kind of training best? Well, when you look at training, all training has to have some sort of measurable objective. And even if it's to give people awareness, even it's to, if it's to change a perception, even if it's to give people insight and information to change a belief about something, well, that's still measurable. You can measure beliefs, you can measure perceptions. Now, most training objectives have to have, or most training initiatives have to have some sort of behavioral objective. If given this training, what do you want people to do, to know, to say? Think about customer service. You want them to respond differently to customers. It, it, with PSM and management of change, you want them to be able to fill out certain forms or the electronic package. You want to make sure that they can do something either differently or new or perpetuate existing behaviors. So if given this training, what do you want people to do and how will you determine whether the training has been effective? Also have to remember that all training is only as effective as the reinforcement that follows it. Giving some information to somebody. There's a joke in marketing. They say you can tell somebody something seven times, they'll tell you they've heard it once. So just because you communicate and you train somebody on something once doesn't mean that it's going to last. So we have to look at it and we have to say that when this training is successful, how are we going to reinforce it? A lot of training has to also become cultural. Now, if we want people to do things, sometimes procedures have to be available so they can remember because the human brain maxes out at certain bits of information. They, we've known that it maxes out at a specific bits of information in the working memory. Some, some of the latest research is saying even a long-term memory has a maximum as well, which that's a little scary for us all. But as we're training people, what do we want people to remember? What's the takeaway? And then how do we measure whether it's been successful or not? Too many billions of dollars, as a matter of fact, throughout the United States and Canada are spent on training every year. And a lot of companies look at it as a rite of passage. You have to achieve this. You have to go through this training, and it's kind of a checkbox. But that's the problem. If given this training, what what do you expect people to do now if the reinforcement comes in? What happens if people do it? What happens if they don't? If you don't have answers to that, training may not be effective.